started in 1883 with Francis C. Warren, which eventually became the first governor of Wyoming. And, uh, you know, he put together an empire. Uh, at one time, uh, the ranch en encompassed a little over 300,000 acres. And uh, with that, uh, Francis Warren, throughout the years, they uh, got sheep here on the ranch, besides running uh, a very uh, prolific cow herd and raising a lot of horses. They started the, in the sheep business, and he uh, partnered with a fellow from the University of Wyoming by the name of Dr. Hill, and they developed their own breed, which we still have today on this ranch, called the War Hill, from Warren and Dr. Hill, and it's for the wool and the twinning and the milk. And they took four different breeds and kept combining them until they come up with what they call the War Hill breed. They'll lamb out about 4,000 head of ewes every spring. Uh, we'll calve out about uh, 1,350 head of mother cows and uh, then we run some yearlings besides. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a very working operational ranch. It's not an eight to five job like most people go to. We say around here, we only work a half day here at the ranch, and that's usually from 6 to 6, and that's just a half day. Some days we put in a whole day, and that's uh, when we're calving in April and we get those uh, late spring blizzards. There's a lot of times uh, you may get an hour of sleep in 36 hours, but you, you, you just don't think about it. You just go on. And my dad always taught me, no matter whether it's a job, whether you like or not, do your best at it, because you don't want to have to go do it again. So when you do it, do it right. And then you're done. When I was in high school, I rode calves, I bulldogged, I rode bareback horses, I rode bulls. I did everything but ride saddle bronc horses, and, and it, it, they would never let me in the girls' barrel race. So, no matter where you go, everybody knows Cheyenne Frontier Day. There's a reason it's called the daddy of them all. Cheyenne Frontier Day started 120 years ago by a bunch of ranchers getting together doing what they do every day. You know, they'd have a bunch of colts and so they started out with saddle bronc riding and you got something sick, you go rope it and you lay it down, you doctor it. And, and that's where rodeo really evolved from. And, and over the years, rodeo has evolved so much. It's went from old stock trucks to uh, inline trailers and then uh, then they went to gooseneck trailers. It takes up a half an acre to park a truck in a trailer now, but they're hauling four different horses maybe or whatever. And you know, nowadays they got sponsors and the money now is just unbelievable. What a guy made at the national finals in the 60s, they make in one event at one rodeo here. Cowboy trains every day. There's a lot of rigorous wear and tear on a cowboy's body. The ones that make the finals, they're off not even a month from the time the finals over with till Denver starts up again. You got three weeks. There's always going to be people out there that want to go see a rodeo because it's something they just don't get to see every day. I hope it continues on and I hope that it gets bigger and better for the cowboys. I really do because they are professional athletes out there trying to make a living and, and so we need it for those guys. We here at Rodeo Sports Promotions hope you have enjoyed our episodes and our live feeds. There's a few things you can do to make sure you don't miss out. Number one, you can go to Casey Jones Rodeo on Snapchat and add me, because I always send a snap out, let you know there's a live feed coming or when the next episode on YouTube's coming out. Number two, you can go to YouTube and, and click on the subscribe channel, it's free, and that way YouTube will notify you when the new episode's out. And number three, you can go to Pro Fancy Rodeo Facebook, Facebook has a new deal now. You can click on subscribe first, and then every time we post any new content, their live feed or a new episode, you're notified and you'll see it first. And then also we've been putting all the RSP content on Pro Fantasy Rodeo, but we'd like to start getting people over to Rodeo Sports Promotion Facebook. So go there and like that so we can start putting some content on that channel. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you down the road.